Okay, so now we will build the menu. So again, uh, instead of building the design directly inside the menu container, I'll do it in my own container. So, and also outside the menu. So this is my container. I'll make it a hundred percent dock to left top. Its height will be 100 VH same as the screen height all right and now i'll give it our background color uh, which is kind of black same as in the example something like this so this is what we are building right now so you can see as i open the menu these elements uh, the toggle menu button and the logo are placed exactly at the same Play at same location so but here it's white so we'll do exactly the same we already created our menu so what I can do I can copy this one and this is one of the advantages advantage that I wrap everything inside a container and place it inside my container and dock it to left top where where is it Oh, 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 wait, let's delete this one. This is our container. This is a background color. It will be a hundred VH. And now let's duplicate this one, cut it, paste it right here. No, I want, I want it right here. Uh, top left change the logo color to white and this should be exactly the same except one thing here we have the hamburger menu which we don't want instead we need a, con uh, a button so let's go to buttons and I'll select this one we need a button and using velo we will close the menu so we don't need an icon so I'll change it to nothing and for accessibility reason I'll give it close the name close menu and we don't need a background color I uh, will apply exact same to the hover state um, and and make it round so let's go to corners and it will be round. Great. So now I'll drag it inside uh, this uh, menu. The, sorry, this uh, wrapper of the open menu. And I'll set it to be 100% width, 100% height. Placed it in the center but I can also stretch it if I like just like this and uh, and now let's give it a name okay this is close menu this is great oh we still have humble hamburger menu here why didn't I delete it all right let's delete it let's go let's publish it very quickly to see that everything is still working exactly the same uh, this is called part two great okay so this is working and also this is working great um, Okay, so this is, we need, we need it always to be there, but we also need to make sure that everything is scale proportion, sorry, is, is, uh, is fitting to the screen, even if the screen is super small. So if my screen is this height, for example, and as I open the menu, you can see that I have here scroll, but I would like to do something else instead of everything to be scrolled only the menu 
will be scrolled because I don't need the image to be scrolled also. So let's do it. So first of all, we need to uh, create a separation between this top header and the other elements. So I'll create a grid. Let's go to apply advanced CSS grid. I need two rows. The first one will be exact same height as the content. So it can be max content just like this and and the rest will it will be a far which meaning that it will take the remaining space. Great. Um, okay, now I'll create another container, I'll drag another container and this will be the menu content wrapper. And I can simply stretch it. I'll remove the background color, but I'll add same padding as I have here. Uh, 80 pixels from sides, from both sides, 80 pixels, 80 pixels, and let's do 56 from bottom, just like we did for the header, something like this. Uh, and we can create some gaps between the grid rows, or I can, you know what, it's, it's even better. So let's go to the parent container, it adds, add uh, 56 pixels gaps between the row. So here we'll place everything we need. Um, same as the example, I want to, to put an image and then the menu, I ignore this part. Um, so let's add a grid of two columns and the first one will be uh, something like 40, 40, uh, 400, 450 pixels, but I want it to be responsive. So let's change it to percentage. Let's make it round uh, 35. Great. So here I'll add uh, a video not image, I'll stretch it, change the video to robot something, let's do robot, I'll choose this one, and I can add if, uh, a border radius, let's do 10 pixels, so it looks something like this, uh, and add gaps between the image and the menu, so let's do 80 pixels, but responsive units, VW, great. Here I'll place my menu. So let's go to menu and drag horizontal menu. And I can tell you right now that the design is won't looks like this, okay? Because here we have, you see that is, is scalable, okay? Um, you see the font is scaling up and down, but Currently, we don't have text scale uh, for menu. Let's make it 100%. And also, let's change quickly the, the labels to be one uh, to be white so we can see it, right? Um, and also, you can see that we have two columns of, uh, of content, which we also cannot do in, in the menu, but um, uh, this will be another tutorial. How how can we animate the menu? As you can see, when it's opened and closed, this this effect, and also this special uh, styling, this will be a different um, a different tutorial. But just for this example, let's make our uh, menu item very big, 80 pixels. Um, change the font to Wix made for uh, Wix text bold, and I'll just make the alignment to left. And uh, I want for this example right now, I want like one item uh, in a row. Okay, something like this. But look what's happened. Now the menu is bigger than the screen height. So we need to be able to create a scrolling and not make the design stretched. So what we are going to do, because we want, we, 
first of all, we can select the container and make like uh, overflow content scroll. And then we will have scroll inside, but you see that the image is also scrolling and I don't want it. So what I will do, I will wrap this menu inside a, another container. I'll make it 100% and its height will be also 100%, but with overflow scroll. So what we will get here that only this area is scrolling. So let's go to the publish site and see how it behaved. So you can see that I have here scrolling. Oh, this is not good. Let's see why we have empty space. Uh, let's select this container and there is always hidden height. So let's go to the advanced CSS grid and change its row to be FR, which means take the space that you need, but not more. Uh, all right, so let's refresh it again. And now you can see that we have tiny scrolling inside. We can manually reduce the height. So you can see that the, uh, uh, the responsive part is is the image is stretching to fill the height, the remaining space. But here we have scrolling inside, which is good enough for this example, uh, that this container is very responsive. Everything is, looks as I want it to be. Um, so now what I need to do is basically I need to copy this design that I did. This will be the uh, menu. Oh, I already created a menu content wrapper. What is this? Oh, okay. Let's call it main wrapper. And now I'll copy it, open the menu. And first thing I need to make sure it's not it's width. This is menu container. It's width is now is 40 hundred, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 450 pixels. I'll do it 100 VW. So it's take the entire screen and I'll pay, I will remove the background. I don't need it. And I paste my design inside the main wrapper and place it correctly. It should be a hundred percent width and a hundred VH height. Okay. Something happened. I think to, no, it's good. It looks good. So let's publish it really quickly and see the live site, how it looks when I'm opening the menu. So we have it, right? We have our design, but look, I cannot close the menu right now. But for now, um, we can, we can delete this container because we don't need it. So this is the end of part two. Basically we build the menu. It's not responsive yet. I know, uh, maybe we'll do it on, at the last part, but you can see that we have the hover interaction. And as we click to open the menu, the menu is opened with the default animation and we see the design that we need. But look, it looks like this button is in position, although it's not, it's a different element. And this logo is also a different element, but it looks ex exactly the same because it's placed, uh, uh, it's padding and margin and posi position is exactly the 